Conceptual framework can be developed using three simple steps. Step 1. Identify your key variables. Here we have to identify the variables into two sections that is the independent variables and the dependent variables. How to understand whether a variable is independent or dependent you should understand the cause and effect relationship. If a particular variable is causing the particular effect then that comes under independent variables and whatever effect is happening comes under the dependent variables. For example if we take employee motivation and how it affects the job satisfaction. Therefore employee motivation is your independent variable while job satisfaction is your dependent variable. Under employee in motivation, you can have different more variables that could come like the salary, work environment, leadership style, etc. Step 2. Defining relationship between variables. Now, once we have identified all these variables, next we have to see the connection. We know that all these independent variables will directly affect on job satisfaction, right? But what about the relationship between each independent variable? That also we can establish through different studies if possible. For example, if there is a study that says salary if given in a positive way could result in a positive work environment, that is one relationship. And also leadership style if taken in a positive attitude could re result in a positive work environment. So there also we have a relationship. So like this, we have to connect the different variables. That was your step two. After that comes the step three. Draw your conceptual framework. Once we have all the relationships identified with the variables, we can use smarter tools like Canva or online diagrams to create a flowchart. With that simple steps, you will have your own conceptual framework. Try it out and let me know in the comment section what your research topic is.